What's up guys, Nathan here, and today I'm going to give you three simple rules to start finally winning at poker. These are the basic rules that have led to my success as a professional poker player, and I think they will help some of you guys out as well. So if you're tired of not getting real success in this game, let's jump into it. All right, so first things first, guys, you need to stop accepting mediocrity on any kind of level in this game. I see so many of my opponents at the poker table, and I saw this when I was just starting out in this game nearly 20 years ago as well, and I still see this with many of my students to this day, is that they seemingly just accept being average, being mediocre at the poker tables. Number one, they don't put in the hours. You don't see them there every single day because poker is around the 18th most important thing in their life. And I'm going to tell you guys right off the bat that if you want to have real success in this game, you need to start putting poker much, much higher in your life, preferably the number one thing in your life. As I've said many times before, when I was first starting out in this game, when I still had a job around 20 years ago, I would come home after work and I would simply play poker online for four or five hours at a time. And then I would study my hands after that as well. And then I'd finally get some sleep and on the weekends I would simply play all day. I think hopefully you guys can understand where I'm coming from. I was absolutely all in with this game because number one I wanted to quit my job which I did eventually after about a year of grinding every single night and I didn't just want to be mediocre in this game like everyone else. I wanted to make this a career and I've been traveling the world for over 10 years now as a professional poker player for over 10 years. This game has been very good for me. So I want to give you some basic rules here. Number one, I would say play six days a week. This is something that anybody who takes this game seriously can do. Guys, if you are currently only playing one, two, three days a week, you are simply not putting in the effort of many other people who truly want real success in this game. And I would say play for a minimum of one hour. There's no reason why you cannot find this amount of time. There's 16 hours in every single day that you are awake. There's no reason why you can't find one hour a day in order to consistently play poker six days a week. And as I always point out in these videos, I'm not suggesting that anybody neglect their wife or neglect their kids or their dog. There are some things that are important in life, guys. However, a lot of people place that PlayStation above poker or that new Netflix show or arguing about politics on Facebook or however else people spend their time these days. And I'm not putting any of these down. If you just love getting into those political fights or you love playing the new Grand Theft Auto or whatever, that's fine. However, as I said off the top, this is not going to lead to real results in this game. So I would suggest selling your PlayStation, getting off the social media, and maybe canceling your Netflix as well. Basically getting serious, guys. In order to find this one hour a day, you're going to have to remove something else that you're currently putting in that time slot. All right, so for that other day, of the week when we're not playing poker, this is the day I would suggest studying your hands in a program like Poker Tracker, for example, if you play online poker, put the link in the description below. As I've said many times, I've spent literally thousands of hours in this program over the years. Number one, studying my game, finding my leaks, and also even more importantly, studying the best players in my game to find out what they might be doing better than me and incorporating that into my game. You can also hire a coach enroll in high-level training courses or read high-level strategy books. There has never been such a plethora of amazing information available these days to quickly get you winning. Once again, I will include all of my suggestions in the description below. And you can also just study some free charts like in my free poker cheat sheet that will literally show you what hands to play. And again, I will link that up as well below. Guys, the bottom line here is is when you are truly ready to start putting in world-class effort into this game, then and only then you are going to get world-class results. If you want to just keep half-assing this game, like 95% of other poker players, you're going to keep getting the same mediocre, somewhere around break-even results that the rest of them do. If you ever want to truly get ahead in this game, you're going to start putting in this level of effort in order to get ahead. Let's move on to thing number two. If you're tired of losing at poker and that is to stop obsessing over your results. Guys, your day-to-day -day results in poker are always going to be up and down. Poker is a never-ending roller coaster. Hopefully there's more ups than downs.
downs. That's the whole point, but you're never going to eliminate those downs. Even the very best poker pros in the world are still going to lose on average around 40%, sometimes even higher, 45% of days. This means that it's almost a coin flip that they're going to lose sometimes because the edges in this game, especially when you play at the very highest level, the highest stakes against other world-class professionals are razor thin. There is also a very large element of short-term luck that is built into the game of poker, which you've no doubt experienced yourself, which allows the recreational poker players in particular to get lucky sometimes, which allows them to blame away all of their losses on their so-called bad luck and keep coming back for more. If poker was like chess, where no one was ever able to get lucky and you just lost every single time to a superior opponent, they wouldn't keep coming back for more. I'm filming this video right now during the World Series of Poker and there's $12 million for first place. I'm not aware of any chess tournament that's ever awarded $12 million. I think you guys understand what I'm talking about. This is the reason why poker is so profitable is because we have this element of short-term luck built into the game and you absolutely have to make peace with that. So let's talk about the practical tip that I would give you for this and that, that is to simply ignore your short-term results completely. I know this is crazy to a lot of people, but for me, as a primarily online poker player, I don't even look at my day-to-day -day results. I typically check once a week, sometimes even just once a month, because number one, I'm already bankrolled for the games that I play in, so I know I'm not gonna ever run out of money. I've got way too many bullets for the games that I'm playing in, but number two, I know that I'm a long-term winning player, so I don't have to obsess about every little bump in the road, and therefore I can keep myself dialed in and focused on playing my best game at the poker table rather than allowing whatever results that have been occurring lately to influence my mood and affect my decisions at the poker table. Guys, so many people in poker think that it's just like the stock market where you need to be checking your day-to-day, -day. oh my god, the stock's up today, oh, it's down tomorrow, end of the world, burn the house down. Guys, you don't need to obsess over this. Poker is absolutely a long-term game. Only your results over the course of months and years and decades honestly really matter. So why would you obsess over your minute to minute or hour to hour results? They don't matter. Don't allow this stuff to influence your mood anymore with those fake highs when you've been running well lately and those terrible lows because you got a bunch of bad beats. It's all nonsense. Cut it out. Stop obsessing over your results. I know it's easier said than done if you're playing live. Of course, your chip stack's right there in front of you. But a lot of you guys play online poker that do watch these videos and there's absolutely no reason to keep spamming that cashier button every five minutes. Let's move on to thing number three. If you are tired of losing at poker and I've beaten this one to a dead horse here on the channel, nobody else seems to be talking about these days because it's not so politically correct, let's face it. And that is to apply very, very strict game selection to your poker career. As I say all the time, guys, it's very simple. No fish, no play. If there is not a clear recreational player at the table that you can point to immediately, I'd recommend not actually point to them in your head. Basically, you should be able to immediately identify the mark, the weak player, the recreational player at the table immediately. That's the player that you are there to play against because as I've mentioned many times, 90% of your profits, guys, are gonna come from these weekend warriors, the recreational players. Your profits in poker, despite what a lot of people want you to believe these days, that you need to study all this GTO and solver nonsense in order to beat other world-class players. Guys, that's not where the profits come from in poker. You can waste your time studying that stuff until you're blue in the face and waste thousands of dollars on all that stuff. It is literally a waste of time if making money in poker is your goal. The vast, overwhelming majority of your profits in this game are always going to come from people who make massive, fundamental mistakes, which is what the fish do. They play way too many hands. They chase every draw. They call you down with bottom pair. They bad beat you. That's what these players do. They give you the bad beats. If you are using a HUD in online poker, once again, I'll link up the one that I use in the description below. You can simply look for players who are playing 40% or more of their hands. If you are playing live poker or you're playing online poker without a HUD, you simply want to be looking for players who are playing all sorts of trashy hands like a 10-6 offsuit or a king-2 offsuit. You guys get the idea. A lot of nonsense. 
sense. They're also chasing every draw. They're calling you down with bottom pair. They always seem to be involved in the action. They're often playing passively. Guys, trust me, as a professional poker player, the big secret that nobody wants to tell you is that all of the money comes from these players. Again, you can study all of the high level theory in the world that you want, but if you just wanna cut the line in poker and make the actual money, applying strict game selection is the path to victory. Again, guys, as I've said many times in these videos, don't listen to what they say, watch what they do. You can load up any online poker site right now and go look at the highest stakes tables and you're gonna see a lot of people sitting out not playing. Why is that the case? It's because they don't wanna play against other world-class pros because as I mentioned, the edges are razor thin in those games. No, instead, they're waiting for the recreational player to sit down because they know that that's where all the money comes from in poker. Guys, don't get all this smoke and mirrors GTO solver nonsense in your head. If you wanna make real money in poker, find the weak players, get on their left if possible, and load up the money printer. All right, guys, that's all I got for this one. I hope that these three tips help some of you guys that are currently not having the success that you want in poker. Like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And once again, if you wanna know my entire strategy to smash the small and mid stakes games, make sure you grab a copy of my free poker cheat sheet, charts, diagrams, everything showing you exactly what hands to play, all that good stuff. That'll be the top link in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. This has been Nathan Williams with BlackRain79.com.